Okay, outfit of the day. I brought this jacket from my friend, but um, my black trousers, my Gucci belt. Yes, this is Gucci and it's second handed. I love it. It's bamboo. I think I've showed you guys a couple of times. It's like gold and it's bamboo. I love it more than the regular Gigi belt they have and I've been using it for my black belt ever since I've gotten it. It's kind of loud, but I just love it. It's simple. Like it just close everything together. And I'm wearing my white turtleneck. All right, I'll see you at the parrots. Greetings, gorgeous. Welcome to Simply Sango. If this is your first time here, my name is Sango, a Japanese Jamaican living here in Japan, trying to live a fulfilling life. I post lifestyle and chit chat vlogs every Wednesday and Saturday so far. If this isn't your first time here, welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome. Okay. <laughs> Bless up yourself. Thank you so much for coming back. Today is a midweek, weekday, national holiday kind of day. So we have a full day ahead of us. I wanted to take a rent a car and drive to one of my favorite breakfast places in Chikasaki, but apparently all the rental cars in Tokyo are fully booked and we have no cars, so we're gonna do something nearby. It's an exciting day and it's a very sunny and warm day, so as you can see, I'm wearing short sleeves. And for my trousers, I am actually wearing my usual Zara trousers. This time it's a beige one. We're gonna go see you on the road. Get it, Sushi! I took us to the Mine S by the way. Yep.
ましょうはーいまいきまーすsafely back in my apartment, my castle, my palace, my safe home zone, safe zone, safe, safe space. After getting sushi,、um, we went to the bookstore, we went to Harajuku to like, look at hair supplies and then walked to Shibuya.、Um, remember I mentioned in a couple vlogs back that I was looking for Osmanthos fragrance, fragrance perfumes? And I bought the Jill Stewart one, which I'm absolutely in love with, and I'm so happy that I got it. But I was still curious about the one that Louis Vuitton had. I have the card with me.、Um, I was able to sniff it today. It's called Etoile Filante, and it has notes of Osmanthos and this white flower, this white Chinese flower, and berries. But I feel like it's not the gentle, warm, sweet scent that I was going for, and I wasn't really. Feeling a lot of the Osmanthos. Meanwhile, the Jill Stewart one, the top note and the middle note has Osmanthos, so it's like all Osmanthos, and the last one is like some spice ones that I forgot what spice they used, but yeah. I'll put the notes of the Jill Stewart's here the top note, the middle note, and the was it bottom note or end note? I don't know, but yeah. And then for the Louis Vuitton one, I was very curious because it's high end and I thought it would be nice to have like a high end brand perfume. I'm so glad that I was finally able to smell this because now I know that this isn't really my type of scent. Speaking of perfume, like perfect timing, but earlier the postman came and delivered a package and I ordered a new bottle of perfume. It's not new, it's kind of second handed, but the person who had it before me. Only did one spray and didn't like it anymore, so they were like,、uh, I kind of have like this used bottle of perfume, like, would you like to buy it from me? And I was like, Sell me. That day when we went to Futako Tamagawa to get the Krispy Kreme donuts,、um, we stumbled upon this perfume cosmetic shop. It's a very old perfume shop. It's called Officine Universelle Beauty. It's supposed to be French, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'm butchering that. Pronunciation. I didn't know of this brand at all, and we went in because it was fancy. It has this nice little antique retro vibe to it, and I'm like, yeah, I would love to check it out.、And、we went in, and、um, oh my god, the fragrances they had were so mesmerizing and so nice.、Um, apparently, they are doing this collaboration with the Louvre、um, Museum in France, and they are. They made a couple of perfumes that are in collaboration with like famous painting, the fragrance that I fell in love with, and it's the La Grande Odalisque. I'm butchering the pronunciation, I am so sorry. And it's, it's a very sensual scent.、Um, I think it was like rose spice or pink spice or something like that. But oh my god, this thing smells so good. Yeah, here it is. I don't even have the box because, like, this person threw away the box, and I understand that because I don't keep my boxes. It really smelled like an expensive baby powder. It has incense and rose pepper, the musk. I'm a big fan of shrines, and I've mentioned this a couple of times in the past. Whenever I'm lighting a candle, like an aroma candle, I'll have an incense burning on the side because I like that smoky flavor it gives. To the scent of my room. I don't usually use aroma candles or scented candles. I usually use this aroma oil heater candle. It's like you light the candle in here as it heats up the oil. So you can change it up anytime you want. And I think these are way more sustainable.、Um, so whenever I have this lit, I will have the incense on the side lit because I kind of like that sweet and smoky kind of smell. As you can see, like the bottle is white and you can't really tell what's like how much is in there, but it's, it feels quite heavy, so I don't mind it.、Um, and the bottle says La Grande Odalisque, and yeah, I'm so excited to use this like on a daily basis. Okay, so Thursday. Um, today is a regular weekday at 
kind of speeding through work and all my tasks that I have for the day. I'm almost done. Um, it's about 2.40 p.m. right now. I'm usually just in like t-shirts and like sweatpants when I'm at home working. I'm wearing this nice comfy sweatshirt from Nano, a brand, a Japanese brand called Nano. I think it was Nano. Yeah, it's Nano. It's a brand called Nano. Um, I found it at Book Off which is a major thrifting franchise. I'm a huge thrifter and this is one of my new thrifted sweatshirts. I think I got it for like 750 yen and I was like, I have to have that. I personally feel like a lot of people still hesitate buying second-handed or thrifting and you know, I've had questions like you don't want a brand new clothing like you you're wearing somebody else's clothing like what if it's cursed and blah 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 but to be honest i've never really had problems wearing second-handed clothing because one we never really grew up rich and most of my childhood clothes are hand-me-downs and second-handed or thrifted because we weren't really fortunate enough to afford you know brand new clothes or you know the trendy clothings that everybody was wearing like most of my clothings were from you know friendly neighbors or my parents friends child and friends children I mean and that's what I've been used to so after I started working and finally earning you know my own money I noticed that I was actually buying things so much like buying a lot of brand new clothings without having you know a style just buying random things that don't match together and all that stuff so i feel like this capsule wardrobe and people being more conscious about sustainability and stuff like that really brought me back home to where you know my roots are but another thing that i'm trying to be conscious of is just because it's second-handed doesn't mean you can you know purchase quantity even though you're finding high quality key items in thrift stores for a very reasonable price doesn't mean that you can continue the same pace of buying clothing or things the way you would as fast retail so that's something i'm trying to learn recently and i've been trying to like you know keep track yeah it's it's a journey yeah <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get back to work and I'll talk to you later. I'm probably gonna make some dinner today, so stay tuned for that. Looks like this little oven set. I don't have a bowl, I don't have a measuring cup, I don't have a spatula, I don't have um, a pie plate and I don't have a mixing bowl so I was like okay why not I saw this video on Instagram of someone making macaroni and cheese and I was like I want some macaroni and cheese um, I looked for a craft macaroni and cheese because I know people have mixed opinions about this but I personally like macaroni and cheese from craft but um, as we all know it's really hard to find those here so I'm gonna make my own yeah Sour cream, get, of course. Mm. All right, I have the chicken breast on the stove, looking amazingly delicious. We have my macaroni and cheese getting toasty inside of the microwave. 